Hey guys, welcome back. I'm playing on Metro Swamps by Rockmax. Now, this is something quite interesting we're going to see here. This is probably the most high resolution textures I've ever seen on any map, so I guess we'll just have to see how uh, my PC can manage it. So, I'm playing on nearly on the highest settings, so let's just go and have a look. Now, we're going to have a run around and see what's what. So, excuse me. Now, something I have to be super careful of that I know about is if I go in the water, it does a lot of damage to me and it can kill me, so... At some point I will dip my toe in there to have a look and see exactly how much, because... I have that sort of bad level of curiosity where I just have to find out, so... I'll check that out. Now, there is a huge amount of detail on this map, loads of good shadowing, and loads of good textures. Look at that, that's pretty cool as well. We've got a bit of uh, wind effects there as well. Alright, so, I'm going to leave one guy alive as we have a look around, and I'm going to try and find the edge of the map, so when this one guy is hopefully not getting killed by the swamp, so we're going to need him around, then I can show you everything in wave one. Ooh, I like this! I'm guessing this is like the poisonous smoke from the swamp? I could be wrong. Oh, they are actually taking damage, look at that! The Zeds are going to get killed from this, so I need to be super careful we don't actually get everyone killed. Alright. So where the hell are we? Honestly, I'm going to say this. This is probably the best out of map detail I have seen. Definitely. Oh god, hang on. I don't want to get lost in here. Got a bit stuck in there. So we're in some sort of set of ruins here, but exactly why the bricks are sideways here, I don't know. What happens if I just step in this? Oh yeah, okay. You can see the, my armor went down a little bit. Not much. I get the feeling that if I try and actually go too far outside the edges of the map. But yeah, we've got all sorts of interesting new models here as well. I've got some dead trees here. And these flags are basically a representation of if you go past the flag, you're going to go into poisonous water and it's going to hurt a lot. But yeah, I'm also liking this, um, this ground detail as well. Kind of got a raised bit of uh, platform here. Yeah, I'm getting some some Fallout 4 vibes here. I don't know about you guys, but that's what's uh, that's what's on my mind. Oh shit! Hang on, I'm in the poison water. Hang on. Fortunately, it's not actually doing very much damage to me at all. But I get the feeling if we go a bit too far in, it may get worse. I'm not entirely sure, but I don't want to kill myself, so that's what I'm gonna be careful about. And yeah, this grass here. Oh, again, I'm doing it, aren't I? <laughs> Sorry. I wanted to run around in the grass and see what's what, but yeah, there's a load of detail here. Seriously, just looking out into this city in the distance, it looks really nice. I'm absolutely loving this. This is fantastic. The thing is, though, is I get the feeling that um, a bit later on in this map... Ooh, that sunshine's good, isn't it? Yeah, that looks pretty cool. But yeah, I get the feeling that what's going to happen is I'm just going to accidentally run into the grass so many times. I'm going to run into the water so many times, and I'm probably going to injure myself and eventually die, so... This is the thing, like, I can walk in this just fine, but I think if I go into the grass then I'm causing myself potential problems there, but this plane looks interesting. Check it out, can I actually get in here? Can I get on top of the plane? These are things we need to check out, important questions right here. I get the feeling maybe I can't, but on the inside there's a lot of interesting detail in there. I'm liking this. Can I get in here? Come on. Now that, by the way, is one of the traders. If you've ever played, um, if you've ever played any of Rockmax's other maps, you'll know those are the traders because this is all from the Metro game series. Not something I've played myself, but if you like post-apocalyptic, that's one of the games you need to check out. Oh, you know it'd be cool if you could actually hide inside, um, like one of these buses and actually fight the Zeds from there, but. Let's see, can we go up here? Oh, we can't go up here. You know, it'd be nice if we could actually just do little things like uh, going up the ramps. Actually getting on top of some of these ruins and stuff. Like, I know some of these may be... Um, wait, is that the same plane? That is the same plane, right? Hang on, let me double check. Oh, it's full of poisonous water, hang on. Let's do it anyway. Fuck it. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Don't kill myself, don't kill myself, don't kill myself. There we go. 
See, these guys are smart. They went, wait, where's that human going? Wait, is he going in the poisonous water? Nah, let's not go in there. So yeah, they stayed out of it, so that's, that's good for them. On the plus side, I guess it means when it comes to um, later on in the game, I don't think the Zeds will follow me in there. Which is a good thing, because think about how many Zeds you could just kill off by getting them to get stuck in the, the water or something. But yeah, I'm guessing that's the same plane, I'm going to have to assume that it is. If not, then it's just another plane in the middle of the, uh, middle of the poisonous water I've got to be careful about. Oh wait, that's, that's going to be a dead end, isn't it? Alright, I've got to be super careful. But yeah, this detail is amazing. But it would be nice, as I was mentioning before, if you could actually maybe get on top of some of these things. Like, I don't mean um, get on top and then you could hide on top and the Zeds can't get to you, but like... That was quite a simple ramp over there. It'd be nice if you could run up the ramp a little bit. And then that would just be as far as you could go. Just the top of the ramp, just a little bit. Just so you could actually get some, some higher ground, especially if you're a sharpshooter as well. That would be pretty good. Alright. What is this supposed to be? It's the ruins of something. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> Double back. Double back. Christ, that is a lot of damage. That's the thing. If I've got armor on, it's not too bad, but I've now wasted all of my armor just exploring these little areas, so I'm going to check that out. So we've got the remains of... I don't know, is this like a hotel or something? These look like little hotel rooms. Yeah, we've now made it back to... that's a missile. Yeah, we've now made it back to the same area, so we're going to try and find... Try and find our way around. That's the thing. The issue with this is I'm not entirely sure where I can and can't go, and I need to be super careful. I use the word issue, it's not actually a bad thing, but finding my way around this map is... difficult, but yeah. Alright, so let's get... Oh. Okay, hang on. Right. What's wrong with this guy? Is he actually permanently stuck, or can he get away from that? He can get away, okay. So... Stuff like that we're going to bear in mind. Either way, see you next wave. So, because of the areas you can and can't go, what I ended up doing is missing this little section in the centre here, because I've been in there, but then I ended up going off around this side here. So there's this little central area, let's have a look in here, because there's some interesting detail. I'm not entirely sure what these buildings were originally, I'm guessing this is just warehouse storage areas and stuff, but it's interesting. Oh shit. This is where we go full auto. The only thing is, is, I don't know where I can actually go from here other than the way I just came out of. So let's try and find our way around. Now what I did do, which seems to be an interesting thing to do for this map, is I did actually get a new gun, got some ammo for it, but I only had a little bit of money left, so what I did is I actually spent it on armour. Just if I ended up dipping my toe inside some poisonous water again, then it wouldn't do too much damage to me, but as it seems... Get rid of you. Right, as it seems... I ended up losing that, so... Yeah, there is this central area of the map that we seem to have missed, so... Ignoring that lady there... Let's make sure we've actually explored everywhere. I wasn't entirely sure exactly how much of the map was left, so I did a bit of a run around. But as you can see, this little central area here is actually cut off. Like, I might be able to dash along here and actually get somewhere, but I don't want to risk it. Okay, so it seems like there's only two ways in here, like this little central area. It's the way I came in over there next to trade, and then there's this way. That does make me wonder, where does this way lead to? So I don't mind the siren. She can shut up. Oh, okay, I can actually get out here as well. Alright. So there are some other ways around, but where does this lead to? Because I'm kind of looking at this building here, I'm going to double check. This should be the exact place where I was before that I, I was thinking, is this like a... used to be a hotel or something, or is this just somewhere completely different? Oh, wow, okay, there's actually some interesting places here. Okay, so we're actually at some sort of petrol station here. Let's have a look around, shall we? Can I get up here? Oh, ow, 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 ow. Fucking hell, okay. Yeah, this is the thing, if you don't have armor, you take a lot of damage from that. A lot of damage. Okay, right. Oh. 
Well, she should have taken my advice and not gone in the water, but... I know where we are now, that's the hotel, this is the central area. Now I've shown the entire map. Anyways, see you next wave. So I do try and show the entire map on wave 1, but sometimes I miss bits, but now we've definitely covered the entire area. Also, these arrows have been just fine, they've shown me exactly where I should and shouldn't be going, which is nice. So now, if you just have a run around, just... oh, okay, right. There's something. Now, realistically, Zeds aren't supposed to just spawn right in front of you, they're supposed to spawn out of line of sight, so bear that in mind. Oh, see you later. So I don't know what was up with that, but either way... Oh, jeez, okay, right, hang on. Let's double back a bit. Alright. Fortunately, it seems the Stalkers actually don't mind about going in the poison, so that's fine. So there's seven left. Right, now, at some point... Yeah, at some point he's going to get pissed. As for where he's going to go... Wait, is he running through all the water? I think he is. No, he's making his way around. Okay, smart man, smart man. He is damaged, though. I can wonder exactly how much I can exploit that. Either way... There we go. Oh shit, wait, 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 can I go in that? I don't know, this is the thing, this kind of makes me nervous, it's like I don't know for sure where I should and shouldn't be going. Because I mean, there's poison here, okay, I can't go in that. God damn it. Um, I'm a bit lost now, hang on, where should I be going? Let's try going this way. That's a dead end. Wasn't I in here earlier? Let's have a look around. Oh, you know, that's actually probably a good place to hide, saying that. But, uh... Where does this go? I think I'm stuck in a dead end here. Let's back out. Get the hell out of here. Oh, God. Right, my trader's over there. Let's kill these guys, and let's at least find a way to safety. So overall, this map is really nice. I'm absolutely loving it. A couple of tweaks here and there. I did have a suggestion about maybe being able to get the top of there just for a bit of uh, line of sight, but it seems that um, we've had some Zeds spawn in an odd place, and it's like um, that one clot all the way over there kind of got a bit stuck on something, but other than that, let's just try and get to the boss, shall we? And, you know, hopefully let's not die inside uh, poisonous swamp water. Oh, there he is. Oh, there was two of them, wasn't there? Shit. Okay, right, here we go. Get my better gun out. Oh, shit, I just noticed what I'm standing in. Careful now. Fortunately, this is on normal difficulty, otherwise I'd be getting my ass kicked right now. Right, I can't see where they've gone. Get some more space. I was hoping to find them when they weren't actually raging, but oh well. Oh god, don't kick me into swamp water. There we go. Whew. Okay, and it's nearly boss time. As for who we're going to get, I don't know, and it kind of worries me. So, let's see. Alright, okay, so when he goes to run off and uh, heal himself, I'm going to have to leave him to it. The thing is about this map is it's very easy to accidentally dip in poison water, and that's a bad thing. As for where he is, well, I don't want to chase him. Basically, I found this little bit of area here next to the trader that's... It's a large bit of area where I can see where I'm going. I can also see exactly where the edges are here that I shouldn't be going in. And I have a little bit of cover here to actually, hopefully, take a bit of cover from his uh, his minigun attack. But other than that, you come over here. I'm not going anywhere near you. There he is. Oh no. Okay, that'll have to do. However, we are level 21, and this is on normal difficulty. So, can we get him? 
don't want to chase him too far. I'm only roughly guessing where he is, I don't know for certain. Come on. Hey, there we go. That was nice and quick. Alright, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.